That's a coral wren feather buried right down here. The mass of graves at Young's Memorial AME Zion weren't always easy to spot. I know what a jungle looks like because I spent two years in Vietnam and that looked just like it right there. The tangle of vines and bush hid the graves from sight. A group of volunteers spent a year working to restore them and uncover Jefferson County history. I estimated that there might be 200 burials in here and I was more than surprised whenever uh, it turned out to be at least 450 folks. Now the task is reconnecting families and loved ones. This one uh, died in October of 2025. 20, this one died in November of 1930. Four foot stones. Here's the two daughters, Mandy and Lizzie Lyle. And to honor the veterans buried here. That's CN Wooten, Company G, Signal Corps. That is the only military headstone that I have ever seen that had no dates on it. It just thrills my heart to know that uh, this is happening. For church leaders, this discovery is special, not only for the history buried here, but for future generations who need to know their past. They're encouraging other churches to look into genealogy and study their history. So we will know, and our children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren will know their heritage. The next step in this project is filling in the uneven graves, making this cemetery whole and honoring those buried below. And it will take more than the uh, three 12-ton loads of dirt we got laying here, but we got all the time in the world.